Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Last Door, Chapter 4, Ancient Shadows. This marks the end of the first season. So I probably don't need much of an introduction here, because if you're watching this, you've probably seen the previous episodes of the game. The previous chapters. Only thing I want to mention is that, well, I apologize in advance for my kind of stuffy-sounding voice. I'm still recovering from a cold, so not exactly at my best, but I think my voice is good enough to record. Hopefully there's, there's not too much sniffing. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to avoid doing that, but it's going to be hard. I'm probably going to do it accidentally anyway. But uh, yeah, let's get going. New game. Headphones and dark environment recommended. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it requires one megabyte of local storage. I don't know if I have the room. There is no turning back. Well, this doesn't look good. Am I... I'm assuming I'm strapped into the chair. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think I am. This looks like a torture dungeon. And usually if you're in a torture dungeon, you're in a chair, you're typically strapped to it. Oh. I've made my mind. Wait, I'm not actually playing... I'm not playing my normal character, I'm playing this other guy? Yeah, I'm playing this guy. Who is this guy? I feel like maybe he's in one of the previous chapters, but it's been a while since I've played them, so I don't actually remember. I know that's why I usually play, though. The guy in the chair. Wasn't the last... I'm trying to remember the last scene of the last chapter. Was that when, when I went on stage? It's like a big stage and everybody had masks and stuff. Was that the final scene? I think it was. Alright, what's on this table? I'm ready. For what? What, did I just, like, take out an implement? Am I gonna do something to him? Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it! Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower, from the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky, and even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Divot, a place of mists. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did.
the door that gives passage through the veil. Open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently? I cannot deny it. Your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gillies? Why, yes. The tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre, macabre things took place. But I don't understand. How is all this connected with my patient? He was there. I'm afraid he is one of the victims. Dear God! Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Herr Devitt was attacked, but survived. What happened to him, then? It seems the criminal was caught by Herr Devitt in the midst of the act. Then he tried... And tried to do the same thing to Devitt that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Herr Devitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. What was Devitt doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gillies Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Herr Devitt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. I have not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all of these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a, fundament, a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herr Devitt, within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. Chapter 4, Ancient Shadows I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. Wait, is that Alexander or Alexandre or something? I don't know. I'm going to say Alexander. Roll with it. Right. I wish I had a flashlight or a candle or some sort of a light source because I'm alone in the woods, the dark woods, and that's pretty scary. I don't even know what I'm looking at. What, what is that? A stone? It's so dark. The ancient castle of Pavense? Pavense? Rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, but was abandoned, and has been a ruin ever since. Here we go, some actual light. Actually, where's the light coming from? Is there a fire? 
Oh no. Just light from a window. Got there quicker than I thought. Mm, this looks like a greenhouse. A beautifully crafted steel greenhouse. It is old, but still in good condition. The house lights are on. Someone must be home. Well, I can knock on the door like a normal person, or I can be a weirdo and try to go into the backyard. Let's do that. Aw, it's latched. I can't open it from this side. No offense, but it seems short enough that you could kind of just reach your hand over, but... Never mind. Let's be normal. No one is answering. Perhaps I should go inside anyway. I'll just tell the household that I'm an old friend come to visit. Uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> Great, another creepy house. Uh, houses always have to be creepy in this game, don't they? Squeaky floorboards. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. God, someone needs to tighten the floorboards. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. It's okay, just tell the household that you came to visit. Hello, household. I'm here to visit. See? Everything's okay. Ooh, is this a puzzle? A well-crafted grandfather clock, but it seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Hmm. Alright, well, it just transitions out of it, so I can't interact with it yet, but I'm guessing I need to put in the missing hand. And then maybe turn it to a certain time at some point? Midnight. It could be Pavense Castle, but in this painting, the garrison is not in ruins. A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Right, so someone's obviously here or has been here very recently. Lights on, door unlocked. Warm tea. Where does that go? Oh, that looks creepy. Where am I? On the left? Ah. Where's the light coming from? There's some old bottles. What is that? An oil lamp. Oh, sweet. Yoink. Perfect. Now I can see. It was over here, so I came from there. Is there something on the table? Ah. A pantry with spices and ingredients. Is that a note? It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last pages. The, the last pages have been ripped off. October 12th, 1887. It's been a while, since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. D oh god. Dupree? I'm just gonna say that's pronounced Dupree. Mr. Dupree has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which, it seems, he shall not return anytime soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child, and make sure that all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? Wait, mate. So part of taking care of him, aside from just feeding him, is making sure that all of the sculptures are turned towards the wall? What? They scare him? When they're looking at him, he thinks they're, what, looking at him, judging him or something? Strange. 
October 13th, 1887. The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupree is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. This looks like the diary of a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? I think that goes outside, right? Yeah, backyard. Alright, let's unlatch this. There we go. Front yard, right? Yeah. Making sure my sense of spatial awareness is... Correct? Hmm, that looks like a well and a rope. And that looks like a cellar. Please tell me it doesn't open. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Great! Means I do actually have to go down there. Gotta love a creepy cellar. Yeah, at least I've got a lamp. The bare branches of the tree stretching to the sky break the night in a thousand pieces. An ancient stone well. A rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. Can I grab it? Yes. Oh. What's... The rope is broken. I'll keep this end. Sounds like there's a bucket attached to the end of it that just fell and snapped off. Grave. Whoa. It looks like someone was buried here. Was it a flash to the image of the, the caretaker guy back at the boarding school place? I can't dig with my bare hands. Oh, I know! Dig with the rope! Aw. Didn't work. Okay, need a shovel. Okay, last place to go, I think, is upstairs. Yeah. Let me guess, it's dark? Oh, no. I thought maybe I needed my lamp to go up here. I don't. The silhouette of a man. It bears a strong resemblance to Alexander. Pretty sure it's not pronounced Alexander, but I'm still gonna roll with it. The silhouette of a woman. A figurine, uh, a figurine of an angel facing the wall. So yeah, they've all been turned to the wall. A fine painting of the local Roman structures. They somehow seem more ancient in this depiction. Ooh, a chest. Treasures? A huge chest made of oak wood. That was an ominous opening sound. Eee! What's inside? Look inside. Oh. It's just a large iron hook. There was a fragment of a diary under the hook. Oh. August 5th, 1887. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures. I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it is not possible but I can hear the crunches, the flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. They're frozen... What the hell is that word? Paroxysms? Paroxysms? What? They're frozen somethings. With what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, a tension, an impossible struggle to, to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors, in the greenhouse, and let the mold devour them, and wasps make nests of their hollow hearts. Well, it sounds like I have things to look forward to when I enter the greenhouse, or the basement. 
Probably tons of creepy sculptures. Covered in mold. Paroxysms or parox something. I've never seen that word before. Interesting. A portrait of an old man. Maybe a ship captain. It looks like he's trying to guard his chest with a stern glare. Hook. Oops. I keep trying to right-click on stuff to get a description of it, but it just opens up the flash menu. Like quality settings and whatnot. Okay, three ways to go. Let's start with the first one. Back here. Oh. Alexander. There's actually someone here. The note on the bed. I kind of want to look at everything else before talking to him. In fact, I think I will. Just in case I need the information in my discussion with him. Helps to be more informed. Okay, what is this? There's a scribbled annotation in the piece uh, in this piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being incessantly. In vain do we waste our lives, craving to tear through. Z oh God. <laughs> uh, Zalith whatever, is the curtain behind which the great wings beat. Inside its ancient mist inhabit the shadows of those who left. The table holds nothing but a box with a description. Laudanum. To be taken in case of anxiety. It is empty. Laudanum. I remember that from uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent. It's, uh, yeah, it's a drug. Forgot what it actually is, but... Morphine type sort of thing, pain reliever. Pretty strong, I think. This cuckoo clock is covered with dust. It seems to be missing an important piece the bird. Hmm. Uh, this one I can actually interact with. The face of the clock has been turned. That is rather strange. And it's in lovely Roman numerals, which I absolutely loathe. What do they mean? Well, I know what they mean. It just kind of takes time to decipher. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, V, I, I, X, blah, blah, blah. A misty dock overlooks a gray ocean. Goals wheel overhead. All right, let's have a chat. Alexander, it's me, Devitt. I'm sorry if I startled you. He didn't even say anything. Okay. Wait a minute, yeah, I heard footsteps upstairs, but he's in a wheelchair, so it probably wasn't him. Um. Is everything all right? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are, are you hurt? Can you stand? He is staring blankly at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what is happening here? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I'd heard footsteps. Were they yours, or is there someone else in this house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Alexander, please, say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. Just what happened to him? Maybe he's taken the laudanum and it's made him just like a vegetable? I don't know if it's that strong. I'm not sure. Alright, so it looks like he's staring at something nearby. What? It doesn't say what. It looks like he's looking in this direction. 
There's something I can actually interact with here, though. I looked at the painting, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can actually interact with this clock at the moment. Like, I'm guessing this is some sort of uh, password, maybe? I mean, let's look at where it's pointing. So it's pointing to uh, 11 and 3, right? I guess I should write that down. 11 and 3. That is 11, isn't it? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And the front plate's been shifted, so if it was in its normal position, 12 o'clock would be up here. One, two, three. So maybe I also need to know what it would would be at if this faceplate was in the correct position. I might be overthinking this, but I just want to collect this information now. So if I shift everything back three, that's what it would be at if the faceplate was in the correct position. So this would be three, this would be five, six, seven, eight. This would be eight, and well, this would be, yeah, 12. Wait, one, two, yeah. I did actually do that right, right? Yeah. Just checking. I might not need it at all. Maybe I just need to put the cuckoo bird in it. But I obviously need to do something with it, either directly or just with the information it gave me. Hmm. That looks like blood on the ground. Probably just strawberries. A camera tripod. I wonder what they're pictures of. Creepy things, probably. Pictures hanging from a cord. They look as if they were improperly developed. You can hardly distinguish anything. Hmm. No, I can turn it on. Okay, source of water. A, a basin with a copper drain. It looks like some kind of red-tinted glass cover used to mask the lamp. It's completely shattered on the floor. Right, a red light. That's so you can develop the photos without... Uh, something... Yeah, they need to develop in low light or with a red light or something. Something like that. I vaguely remember how that works. I know that if you just have a normal light on in a room where you're trying to develop photos, it's not going to work too well. Which is maybe what ruined these? A lamp is hanging from the ceiling. Its bulb casts an intense white light. Let's turn it off. Oh. Well, things just got creepier. Kind of wish I didn't do that. Where am I going to use a light bulb? Can I put it back in it? The light bulb may be of some use yet. Okay, so it's not meant to go back. A glass jar containing a yellow substance. The label reads cyanide. <laughs> Why the fuck would you have a jar of cyanide? Is that used in developing photos? I doubt it. Uh, I'll take it. What the hell am I gonna do with cyanide? The image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival. Ew. Rat masks. It's a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. Three one four nine, Collidian for photography, or Collidian. Collidian is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon the surface of the glass, and the sensitive coating produced. Many formulae are published for this article to which great value is attached. Some supposing that its pe peculiar composition belong the principal causes of failure or success. This is only in a in a degree true. 
Wait, what? What did that actually mean? Many formulae are published for this article to which great value is attached. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, to develop a positive image, this is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Oh, okay. It's apparently used in developing photos. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess of the chemicals. So I'm obviously going to be developing photos here. Vitriol spirit solution. I don't know what that is, but I don't have it. I do have the cyanide and I do have a source of water here. The causes of failure would almost require a chapter by themselves. A long experience convinces, convinces us that nine out of every ten failures occur from a want of care, the presence of dirt, negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. The best results always rewarding the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in the order specified in the formulae, quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. Okay, simple enough. Doesn't sound too hard, I just need the vitriol spirit, whatever that is. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. Okay, one more room to check out. A bust with his face turned around. What is that in the fireplace? A large envelope of black felt, covered in dust and ashes. It is labeled with a warning. Do not open it under white light. Okay, so that's the photo I need to develop. Gotcha. Let's grab it. Okay. The shelf is lined with strange and complex books. Some titles include The Movements of Shadows, Preserving the Mind, and Lessons Beyond Nature. This seems to be an invoice. <laughs> well, it's not exactly readable. May this document serve as a record of the payment made by a corresponding made corresponding to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified to give these strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. That's weird. Quarter past six in the afternoon, why? I feel like I should write that down. I have a feeling I'm going to have to trigger it, so I probably need to change it to that time. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. Oh. Okay, where would that be? Where, where is this device? It's a letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing form formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would have never visited. Leafing through the grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany. A radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get definite, definite results, I will write to you immediately. I believe fortune has truly smiled upon us today. And then there's something I can't pronounce. And then June 8th. 1887. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything on the desk. Nope, nope, nope. A picture of an angel with a gentle face. Okay, I think I'm still missing the vitriol spirits. 
Hmm. Can I touch the hook to the rope? Okay. But what am I going to do with it? I could put it down the well and hope I can pick something up? Uh, I could obviously use it to climb. Okay. What to do now? I don't have the vitriol spirits. I could try the process. See if I can start it. The tag on the envelope advises against opening it under a white light. Okay, so I do need light to work, so I need something red for this, or... Yeah, I'm guessing I need to, like, coat the light bulb in something. Obviously, coating it in broken glass isn't gonna work. Yeah, red paint, wax, something. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I definitely can't do the photo yet. Uh, so where's there? There's the basement, which requires a key that I don't have. There's the greenhouse. What was up with the greenhouse? Was it just locked, or did I just not want to go in it? Let's go find out. There's a uh, large iron bar latching the door. Oh. It's quite odd that the door is latched from the outside. Indeed. It's almost like someone was trying to prevent something from getting out. And I'm about to go in. That's not a comforting thought. Mm, before I do that, let me see if I can use this hook. In the well. Hmm. Within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small bird of brass. Sweet. Strangely enough, there doesn't seem to be any water in the well. <laughs> As an odd well. Oh, there's my cuckoo. Bird. Alright, so I'm guessing there's a ton of creepy sculptures in here. We're about to find out. Hi. Oh, nothing yet. that broken glass? This pane looks as if it had been broken from the inside. What the hell? What is that? There's a bunch of statues, right? I think. Yeah, a statue of an angel with its wings spread. Its head is missing. Ew. Ooh, is that the vitriol spirits? Yeah, a jar of vitriol oil. I must be careful. It's a powerful acid. A statue of an angel covered in mold. It's glancing at me with a sad gesture. I hear them moving. He did say he could swear he could hear them grinding as the statues move. And that's precisely what I'm hearing. Oh, I didn't actually take this, did I? I didn't. There we go. I forgot, you click, you click something once to hear the description, and then you click it again to take it. Okay, I don't think I... Yeah, I can't keep going. Let's leave. I have a feeling something's going to happen when I try to leave. Okay, just checking. See if they're getting any closer. Let's go now. Can I lock it again? Unfortunately, I can't. I'd like to. What am I hearing? Oh, that's rain. In the real world, not in game. Had to be sure, I thought. Is this suddenly raining in game? Okay, I guess I'll put the cuckoo bird in. Where was that? Is it here? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, I can't use it from there. I need to use it from here. A little brass bird. When shaked, it makes a noise as if there was something inside. Oh. Can I... Uh... What do I do with it? Do I need to, like, crack it open? I don't want to break it, though, do I? The bird fits perfectly. Okay. Just gotta keep in mind, I guess, there's something inside of it. Not sure if that matters. Oh my god, it's raining really hard outside. Damn. Not sure if you can hear it. You probably can't. Okay, so can I change the time at all? There's no, like, button here, is there? Okay, and I can't take the bird back, so I guess I didn't need what was inside of it yet. It doesn't appear I can interact with it. Hmm. And the clock downstairs is missing one of its hands. And there's supposed to be some device some... oh. Wait a minute, is that a switch? Oh, it, it doesn't look like a switch, but I can't actually do anything. It just uh, closes out before I can touch it. And I don't have another hand. Hmm. <sighs> so, what do I do now? I have the stuff for the photo, except I need... A red light. Can I just, like, turn off my lamp and do it in the dark? <laughs> Pretty sure I can't. But I'm gonna try. I don't think I actually can turn it off, can I? No. Yeah, just say, opening under a white light. This is, of course, a white light. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is this is the exam, and I completely ignored this. So you can't examine stuff. Okay. Okay, see if there's anything useful here. Electric lighting. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Yep, cyanide. Do an open white light. Yeah, it's just the same description that you got when you picked it up, or right before you picked it up. So, nothing special there. I feel like I need to dip this light bulb in something. In the environment. But what? Hmm. Hmm. This was about the work that's been done. Modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six. Special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. I'm probably just missing something in the environment. That's usually how it goes. I've been pretty good about sweeping my mouse across the screen, though. Just gotta go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Gotta catch everything. Just sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. It's so room by room. Did I miss anything in here? Pretty dark, which doesn't help, but there's the water, there's the basin, there's the glass. There's a light, which doesn't have a light bulb anymore. There's a painting, there's a note with instructions, and there's the strange device. Beyond my knowledge. Put the light bulb in it. 
Doesn't work. Hmm. I'm at a bit of a loss. I've been stuck multiple times in these... Uh, in this series before, though, and it usually is because I missed something. Like, I remember when I missed... What was it, like, gloves? On the wall or something, and I couldn't pick up something from the fireplace. I need something to protect my hands, and... That was tripping me up. Uh, what if I talk to him? Actually, wait a minute. No, I've already looked at both of these, right? Yeah. Anything new to talk about? He looks miles away. Nope. Have some cyanide. No. Okay, it's kind of rude to give your friends cyanide. Fair enough. I'm just wondering if there's like a special... You mentioned a special device. It seems like it's on the other clocks. It looks like there's a handle thing here, but I'm just wondering if there's something I can click on to do something with this that I'm missing. This is leave, 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 leaves all around. Here's just examine. Doesn't look like I can move anything. Yeah. I don't think I can do anything with it yet. Okay, so we're back down here. Let's see if I've missed anything here. There's a clock, which once again I can't interact with. It just kicks me out of the screen. It says that it miss, it's missing a hand. Painting, mm-hmm. Old teacups. Fascinating. Fascinating teacups. Nothing here. The notes, already read it. Spices and whatnot, just the kitchen, pretty standard stuff. Jars. And that goes to the backyard, and this is locked. What am I missing? So there's a basement I can't get into without a key. There's a grave that I'm apparently supposed to dig since he, has, since he says I can't dig with my bare hands. But I need a shovel or something for that. There's a clock that needs a hand. And there's a photo that needs to be developed, but I need like a red light or something. So there's like, what, four different things I can, that I know I need to do, but I don't know how to do it. And I just sweeped over the environment really thoroughly. So if I've been really thorough, and there really isn't anything to actually, that I've missed to interact with, then I guess what I'm missing is just interaction with what I've already seen with my objects. Well, I'm pretty sure the envelope, the vitriol, and the cyanide are all just completely part of their own puzzle, because that's part of the, you know, developing the photo. So I doubt I use them for anything else. Same with the light bulb. Need to make it red or something, so it really doesn't leave me much with, uh, to, to do anything with. I guess I can go back out here, but... Oh yeah, now that I have a light, I guess I'll find stuff, right? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, this is what I was missing. What is that? Old ruins lay by the path. They seem to be Roman in style. Alright, so I guess they're from the... The ancient castle and the surrounding areas. It's a dead animal, but what kind? Deer? The corpse of a deer. Its abdomen torn open. It looks recently dead. Great, there's a predator around and I'm in the woods at night. At least I have a light. Oh god, I just thought. Do I need to like rub the light bulb in the blood? Oh god, I do! Now the bulb is grossly covered in blood. Oh! That is really fucking disgusting. Glad I thought of it, though. But, eh. Okay, that's probably all I need to develop the photo, which will probably do something from there. 
Okay. God, think of what that would actually do. Okay, it would work, obviously. It'd make it... You know, it's kind of translucent and... It'd make it red. But this is an incandescent bulb, which means it gets really hot really quickly. So you're going to end up with... Hot blood. I don't know if it'd run off the bulb, but it would really... It would smell disgusting. You'd be heating up blood. Just... Ugh. <sighs> Just imagining what that would be like is not pleasant. Alright, where was it? Here? Here we go. Okay. Let's plug it in. My blood bulb. <laughs> it's the color of blood. Literally. Okay, so let's read the instructions. Okay, so pour upon the plate one ounce of vitriol, five or six drops, then wash. Vitriol, cyanide, wash. Okay, what is the plate? Is this the plate, or is there a plate in here? I guess I'm putting it in a plate or something? Uh, let's see. Okay, I guess it's in the plate. So, vitriol... Sizzle. Mm-hmm, causes a strong acidic reaction. Cyanide. I've applied the liquids in the correct order. All that remains is to rinse the plate. Yep. Done. An image is appearing on the plate. It's a photograph of Anthony and Alexander. Uh, hi. Mr. and Mrs. Ratface. Yep. This is them from this photo. Wearing the rat faces. The image is back in the frame. Good. That's good. Okay. So, uh, what do I do with this? Okay. I notice there's someone in the background who's just... Like, in the darkness or something? It's weird. Creepy. Do I show it to Alexander to make him talk? Jog his memory? Bring him out of his stupor? Mm, here we go. Alexander, do you recognize this photograph? Take a look. It is you and our old friend Anthony, and there's someone else blurred in the background. Who is the third figure? Does he mean something to you? Well, what the hell? The bird awaits. Okay, is that a key? Oh, a piece of clockwork, a hand. Well, I know where that goes. The bird awaits. Well, thank you! Not ominous at all. Oops, can't do that. Gotta use it here. Okay, put the clock hand in its place. I'll need to set the clock to the correct time. Okay. Whee! Okay. Alright, and this synchronizes it, right? Yeah, I think this synchronizes it. So it's, um... Uh, quarter past... Six, yeah. And that's six, so let's... I might as well bring it back. Okay. So that's straight six, uh, quarter past, which is that. Right? I think quarter past six in the afternoon. It's a quarter past six in the afternoon. Yeah. Fifteen minutes is a quarter. Didn't seem to do anything. Let's go see if it... Let's go see what that 
synchronizing device. Let's see if that actually was the synchronizing device. Oh wait, you know he's back here. Did that change it? Is it different than it was before? No, that's the same orientation. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's because it's offset, I need to synchronize it to a different time. So everything's three hours ahead, right? One, two, three. Yeah, okay, so I need to be three hours back. Gotcha. So three hours ahead, so six, seven, eight, nine, so, all right. There we go. I think. I feel like something should have happened if that actually was the correct thing. Oh, did I go too far? Wait a minute, what? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I went the wrong way. <coughs> Whoops. Now I need to go six hours back. Or six hours forward. Which way? Six hours forward. <laughs> okay. So... that? Doesn't look right. Why is this so confusing? There's something really confusing about this. No, that actually seems to be correct. That's the quarter past six in the afternoon. Right? VI is six. Three, four, five, six. So... So... yeah. Um... Right, well, I'm gonna think about this some more, and I also need to go to the bathroom, which is making it kind of hard to think, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I think I just realized what I was doing wrong. Seems kind of obvious now. And it also explains why it didn't quite look right. Something looked wrong with it. Now I realize what it was. Okay, so this is 6. Of course. That's 12 o'clock. The thing is, though, if that's 12 o'clock and that's the reference point for 12, then 15 minutes past that would actually be here. Not here. So, yeah. I need the minute hand to be facing up. So let's go do that. There we go. Right? The sound came from upstairs. Okay, sweet. And there's supposed to be something inside of the bird, so I'm guessing it's gonna give me something? Well, he's saying that name. It looks like he's freaking out. Where's that name mentioned? It's on this note or the other one? Yeah. za Lethal is the curtain behind which the great wings beat. What is that? The bird has burst out at the stroke. Now its beak is open. Oh, it's the bird itself. Alright, what's inside of it? There is a key inside the bird. Oh yeah, I get to go into the basement, right? I can't wait. He's having some kind of seizure. He is trembling of pure horror. Well, I wish I had some laudanum for him, but I don't. It's all out. I have some cyanide! That's mean. T 
to the basement. Jesus, the music's getting intense. What am I going to find in here? Okay. Dusty carpet of Asian origin. Mold and dust cover the portrait, making the subject indistinguishable. This piece of fine furniture has several drawers. Ooh, what's in them? Inside this one? Uh, inside this one there is a gardener's shovel. Oh, I know what to do with that. Digging up a grave. The cabin has a large stain of mold due to the high humidity of this atmosphere. Oh, there's the statues that I heard were in the basement. Whoa, wait a minute. What is that? Is that a huge gash in the wall? There are remains of a Roman mosaic behind this wall. I can't distinguish anything clearly. Hit it with a shovel. No. Wait a minute. I just realized I still have the cyanide and vitriol. Even after making the photo, does that mean I still need them? Hmm. Or maybe there's another photo to develop. An ancient statue in poor conditions. <laughs> in poor conditions. All of the conditions of the statue are poor. Old ruins. It seems that they were part of the Roman settlement. Is that a doorway? Uh, if it is, it seems awfully short. Yeah, I have to frickin' duck under that thing. Weird. It's like a laboratory, and there's a cage? What was done down here? Experiments? A book written in a language unknown to me. And there's a scrawled annotation written in English on one of the margins. This and no other is the function of the serum we manufactured at the boarding school when we were young. It is something that we didn't understand by that time to accompany the mind to the proscenium of the big theater and there help us to look behind the curtain that separates the world of men from and wait the world of men from and the land of truth what to look I say if anything apprehend an image of what lives there just that will the what the <laughs> what Okay, I think this note is, uh, could use some spell checking. Will the hoopo allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond? Is that, is that even supposed to be a word? Hoopo? What? What? Okay, I don't know what any of that means. I can't decipher that, I'm sorry. Innumerable jars full of murky objects suspended in formaldehyde. A huge cage full of leftover, leftovers and dirt. Animals have been captive here. I guess they're experimenting on animals, probably. Jars and test tubes. Everything is soaked in chemical residues and the air is filled with the smell of vinegar. Unlabeled bottles and lab equipment. A bunch of dust-covered bakers. Bakers? Uh... <laughs> a bunch of dust-covered bakers with repulsive liquids. A few of them have developed... Uh, fung... Fungi? Fungi? Fungi inside. Uh, I think that's supposed to say beakers instead of bakers, but I kind of like it this way more. A bunch of dust-covered bakers. With repulsive liquids. strange that there's so many bakers on the shelf. Can I have a few of them? Dust them off and put them to work in my kitchen? Alright, so creepy lab. Let's, uh, let's leave this unpleasant place and go dig up a grave. Which sounds vastly more pleasant. Mmm, disrespecting the dead. My favorite pastime. There probably isn't even going to be a body. Alright. 
What's in here? Hmm. Something tells me I'm going to have to use acid to melt through that. A wooden box. It seems too small for a coffin. It does. It seems way too small. I mean, I suppose you can kind of fold someone up <laughs> if you really wanted to. Uh, I don't think they do that, though. The lock is very rusted, almost shattered. Okay, yeah, let's use... Which one? I don't know. Let's try this one. Sweet. Whoa. Is that actually a person? Yeah, the remains of a humanoid body, but with a grotesque animal aspect. It does look a bit animalistic. Maybe a small ape. It has a collar with some engraved words on it. Old Mike. What the hell? What's in its hands? The skeletal fingers of the creature are clutching a rolled up canvas. It's a map of the stars. Is that a note? Besides the corpse, there's a paper leaf. Dear Alexander, Undoubtedly, your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How do you manage to get results with such alacrity? On another note, my epiphany with the treatise of alchemy was not accidental. When examining the text closer, I have come to the conclusion that, for a time, Raimundus Lully sought the same thing as we did. In his account, he describes a formula that he calls Hoopo. Yes, like the legendary bird. Oh, okay, so Hoopo is an actual thing. It just looked like a horrible misspelling to me. And apparently that's a legendary bird. Okay, cool. It closely resembles the serum with which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It's a pity that you tell me about old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. July 2nd, 1887. I guess old Mike didn't get better. Okay, nothing else in here. Nope. It's some kind of navigation map. Several constellations are marked. Deneb, Vega, the Summer Triangle, Altar, or Altair. Okay. What do I do with it? Oh god, that sounds like Alexander. Yeah, it sounds like Alexander screaming. Is he going to have his eyes pecked out by a bird? The birds. Again. He's gone. Alexander. Where the hell did he go? Whoa. What's in his chair? Is that something left? Some diary pages on the wheelchair. The paper is ripped apart, as if someone had stripped it off the book hastily. October 31st, 1891. I'm writing this in the light of my desk lamp. Hoping to be able to remember it all, when the birds finally sing and the sun blessing dispels the dark shadows of the mind. During the whole afternoon, a strong wind hit the valley. So strong that it has cracked the larger branch of the old oak in the garden. I find it hard to get sleep during these nights, so I read a lot while accompanying the professor. I don't really know when exactly I fell asleep. I was awakened by the chill of the night, which was seeping through the open window. I looked outside, and I saw him. The professor was miraculously awake. What was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with a true serene expression, enjoying the fresh and calm air right after the storm. I felt that a blessing had fallen upon this house, and, for a moment, I felt immensely happy. I stared at him for a while without saying anything, being afraid of dispelling a vision I hadn't believed possible for a long time. And then, 
in the midst of the silence. I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched all my calmness with such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low-pitched as the drag of a slab. Mr. Alexander Snore, who was pleasantly sleeping in his bed. I've already made a decision. I'll leave this house. Yeah, I would too. Is that like something in the statue's hands? I see something purple and something orange. Did Alexander fall off here? Is that what he was screaming? A statue, it's, it's holding something. It's a lens, mounted in a metal ring. There are some strange symbols marked in the surface. Lens, where would I put the lens? Starlight brings some brightness to the forest. Can I use it with anything I have? No. And what exactly do I do with this? Do I just, like, go back out into the forest? Wait a minute, what about the strange device? Maybe I use the lens on that. Yeah, an instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. Yeah, apparently not. I guess it's still beyond my knowledge. I can't actually use the, cons the the map on anything. It just examines it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just go into the forest and I can... Using the map, I can just automatically go somewhere else? I don't know. Let's try it. Don't know until you try. Like I can actually go anywhere. Yeah, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. No. All right. What am I missing? Alexander screamed. I got a thingy to do things with, and yeah. Do I, do I use it on something in the basement? I don't think anything's changed here. Yeah, I don't know. Strange symbols on it. Uh, it's a crystal. What was that? My thoughts exactly. Sounds like I came to the right place. Also, why does the ground sound muddy? Like squishy noises as I, w as I walk over it. Alexander. Oh, secret. Whoa, purple. The mountain of compacted snow. What the hell is there? Why is there snow down here? How is there snow down here? Ooh. Looks like I'm gonna need that star map. A narrow window in the ceiling of the vault. A wooden secretary desk, beautifully carved. The flip top has no knob or lock, just some strange symbols. Whoa. Okay, well that's a puzzle. 
And that's a note. An open envelope with a letter inside it. Dear Alexander, I'm terribly sorry about old Mike. Will you put him to rest in his favorite place? After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, I've managed to distill the alchem alchemical formula based on the notes you sent me. Certainly, you are a master of this craft. The subject reacted to the serum as usual, rapidly entering into a state of waking sleep. Suddenly, the convulsions stopped, and since then, he is not responding to any kind of stimulation. He has remained in this state for many days. My diagnosis is brain dead. What should be our next step, Alexander? I'm worried this could be the end of our research. August 23rd, 1887. There is a dark hole in the center of this room. It delves into the depths of the earth far beyond what I can see. So, why is there a massive hole in the ground? What's the what's the point of that? It's kind of strange. It kind of seems like a bit of a hazard, too, because you could just kind of fall in and there's nothing to stop you. And then you're going to, you know, die. Might want to cover it up with some planks or something. Jeez. Workplace safety hazards. Okay, so... Star map. Oh, I need to look at the star map and then... You know, I think this is not the triangle that I'm looking for. Okay. I can't. I really can't bring up the star map while I'm looking here. All right. Um. So I need the summer triangle, right? That's what I need—the summer triangle. I think so. I got this. Yeah. It's like that. No, it's like that. Ah, close. It's like... That. Ah. ah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I just... You know, I'm just gonna take a picture of it. I mean... Actually, wait a minute. I think I can just take a screenshot of this. I think? And bring it up on my second monitor? Uh... Hold on. I'm gonna use the snip tool. Wonderful tool. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Cool. And let's save it to the desktop. Sweet. I know you're staring at silence, staring at a frozen image right now. There we go. And bring it up on my second monitor, like so. And there we go. Make sure my recording's still going. Yes, it's still going. Okay. There. Magic. The magic of multiple monitors and having a computer. Okay. Looking at the map right now. So we've got see this. Right. Uh, I'm doing Denib right now. So that and that goes down. Wait. This doesn't seem to match exactly. No, it doesn't actually match exactly, but it's pretty close. So that goes down to here, and then it goes here, and then this is one corner. And then this is another corner. Yeah, that's... If that's not right, then it's only, like, one off. Um, and then let's see. This, this, and it goes here. That's an offshoot. Here, and then he uh, here? There we go. Okay, cool. That would have taken forever if I didn't just put it up on my second monitor. Had to flip back and forth and back and forth. Correct. This is the Summer Triangle. So wait, what does it actually do? I just realized, what does it actually do? Oh, 
I mean, I've marked it. Cool. But... <laughs> I just realized it didn't, it didn't actually do anything. Now, obviously, that kind of looks like this. Um, yeah, do those resemble Vega, Denim, Altair? No. They really don't. Alright, how many symbols are there? I just want to know. Alright, so that's, I'm going to call that brackets. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's ten. Right, so I really don't know what that actually did. I mean, finding them is cool and all, but... What does that do? Like, I'm staring at the image right now. Of the map. Hmm. The Summer Triangle. Do I need to put that in? Oh, for... okay. Right. It's gonna show me special stuff. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I totally forgot about that thing. Alright, so we got that. I'm writing the symbols down. Top left one is like that. And the right one is the little bowl. Okay. Right, top right one is the bowl thing. There we go. Bottom one is three. Yeah, there we go. And this one is... Uh... Which one? There we go. There's a small cabinet with two slots for syringes. Only one of them remains. Ooh. The voice again. It comes from the bottom of the pit. What the hell? He's in the pit? What is this? An empty hypodermic needle. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Ooh, I know. Fill it with cyanide. Fill it with vitriol. No. Wait, I just... Oh. Oh. I'm here. We're back at the beginning. Alexander. Uh, can I not end up in the chair this time? A variety of surgical instruments and some jars with chemicals in them. A variety, yeah, same thing. Uh, can I feel it? No. There's a chair in the middle of the room. Alexander. It doesn't even answer. Okay. Uh, do you want the needle? This is what you asked me to search for. Is it not, Alexander? Am I right? The last door. za lithal Last door. We can cross together. What should I do? I am waiting for you. Here, in the mist. It's nearby. I can hear it. What is nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. It knows we are afraid. I am ready. Sit down. Oh, I guess I'm not strapped in. Voluntary, voluntarily doing this. And I'm controlling him, right? No, I'm still controlling the main guy. Uh, can't talk to him? Clicking on him. Nothing's happening. There you go.
Jesus Christ, did you have to be so violent with it? Do you think that we will find any clue here about Devitt's whereabouts? The police must have taken almost everything, but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully, we have overlooked... Uh, they've overlooked something. What about this room? There is a sealed letter between this table and the wall. It looks like Herr Beechworth never sent it. I think it is best that you read it. Dearest Alexander, please, you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way. An open way for whatever lives in the other side. That's the end, isn't it? Or not? Maybe not. Now I'm in the mists. Oh, hi. Now that actually is the end, isn't it? Yep, the adventure continues in season two. God, there's such teases. Oh. Well, get a nice stretch in. Oh. Yep, continues to be a tease. But at least there are some actual concrete details in there. To be honest, it's been a while since I've played the previous chapter, so I don't really remember exactly what was happening. But at least we know that there's some sort of a serum that has something to do with reaching the other side behind the veil. The mists. Now they've been developing it. And I guess I'm now going to it. So in the next season, I guess we're going to explore what's behind the veil or something like that. Should be interesting. But yeah, just to talk about the game, uh, this episode a little bit, it continues to be really strong. Yeah, really, really strong. It, uh, I'm really glad to see that it didn't have any of the really ridiculous adventure game puzzle uh, sort of stuff that uh, which episode was it that had that it wasn't the last one I think it was the I guess chapter 2 whatever one take, took place at the boarding school I think that was chapter 2 yeah pretty sure it is like that one just went really far into ridiculous adventure game puzzles and really frustrated me but no this one feels it felt really good in fact, I didn't feel like any of the puzzles were, were, um, like required pixel hunting, really. I did have to be careful to sweep the screen because there's no item highlight or anything like that. So you can't just like press a key to make sure you've seen everything in the environment. And it is really pixely, so you do have to be very careful and sweep the screen to make sure you're actually finding all of the interactable things. But it still never felt like a pixel hunt and none of the puzzles were like, really obnoxious or anything like that. They're just, they're good. They're really good puzzles. It flowed really well. I never, you know, hit a brick wall. That frustrated me. Anytime I messed up was just because, well, I messed up. Like, I have a light, so now I can go to the forest and actually see what's there. That makes sense. And the clock thing, that totally made sense. It was really cool. The sound design continues to be, I think, one of the coolest things about it. It didn't have any of the... It didn't have any of the really super cool stuff that I loved in, um, I think it was episode, th uh, chapter three, 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was chapter 3. Where you start out in the coffin. And you're trying to beat your way out and all of that. Like, that was really, really cool. I love the sound design on that. Each click is you beating against the coffin. That was so cool. And there's none of that here, but the sound design still continues to be really strong. Just the creepy things you hear. You know, like, I heard footsteps. We heard footsteps in the house. But the only person in the house can't even walk. That's creepy. You hear the, uh, the statues moving around. Just grinding against stone. In the distance. But you never actually seem to see them move. You only hear them. Yeah, really nice. Really, the only... I think the only major thing I can really criticize is just that some of the... Some of the writing definitely needs to be spell-checked and gone over again, because some of it was just... Really confusing and obviously misspelled, or bad grammar, that sort of thing. Just didn't come out right. Some of it I kind of corrected on the fly while I was... While I was, uh, saying it. And others I just couldn't couldn't correct it fast enough because I didn't even really understand what it was trying to say. But other than that, it's just a really strong series and it continues to be. Every episode's been strong. And I'm happy to see they've done well so far. And I can't wait to see what they have in store for the next season. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through... The Last Door, Chapter 4, Ancient Shadows. Once again, sorry for my, sn uh, you know, crappy sounding voice. And my sniffling. <clears throat> but, yeah, that's what happens when you have a cold. And I can't wait for Season 2, and as soon as that comes out, I will of course be playing it. Thank you for watching.